Hi guys! Hey yeah, guys, so welcome to my channel if you are new welcome if you don't know who i am or what i'm about well of course watch this video but also there will be a video linked in the description below so you guys can go watch it for those of you who are new and get to know more a little bit better some of you might think wait a minute Dana, why is your hair a mess right well my hair's a mess because we are doing a wig video. Now you might think, well, uh, excuse me, why are you doing just one wig? It's not really a haul unless you're doing like five, six, seven wigs. So, first of all, reason is, sorry guys, I've got like makeup on my hands. Um, reason being is, one, I need to know what I look like as a blonde. I've been wanting to dye my hair blonde for the longest and I never was daring because I thought, Danny, are you really going to ruin your hair? Be blonde and then not like it? No. So I got a blonde wig to figure out if I will suit it. And what a better way to try it on than record it. I thought to myself, then if I record it, I'll get your guys' opinion. And also, you know, it's a bit of a fun video. Um, what I'm going to do with the wig, because it's come a bit of a curly, whirly. We're going to also straighten it and show you what it looks like straight. And yeah, um, oh, I do have another wig coming. Uh, but that's coming like literally in ages. It's not going to be a while like the end of April. Because we are right now, we are at the beginning of April. This wig is not meant to be coming till like the end of April. So I just couldn't wait that long for the other wig. Because I was gonna do initially gonna do two. Sorry guys, I really need to take this makeup off my hands. It's horrible. Anyway, uh yeah, so I was initially going to do two in one video, but I thought this also gives me an idea for the video. It's like boom to the tat, you know what I mean? And also it's a bit of a fun video for me and you, and then I can also, you know, see what I look like. And you guys can tell me what what you guys think of it. I mean, and for it's also good because some of you guys might be thinking, hmm seen this wig and thought i want to get it but i don't know what it'll look like well this wig it'll be here for you guys to see what it looks like in person the quality of it and you know winner winner chicken dinner yeah so let's get um into so, it i've already opened the wig by the way i got it out of its packaging because i just wanted to get it all uncrinkled and stuff so this is the wig <laughs> Straight away, I can tell you it's not good colour. Okay, if we're really reviewing, I only got this to see what colour, well, not what colour, sorry, what, what I would look like as a blonde. This is the only reason I got this, by the way. Um, I wouldn't actually personally wear this, like, outside, because the quality of it is really poor. I mean, you look at this, it's got little bits of hair sticking out right there. And... You can literally see my hand through the wig. I mean, I'm not the one to talk about wigs because I really don't know much about them because I don't really wear them, but um, I know that's already by looking at that, I know that's not a good sign. I mean, nobody would wear that, right? Right, so yeah, um, straight away I can tell you it does not feel like real hair. It feels very, very like straw. Uh, doesn't feel like it's real. I mean, it has got a real flow to it. I mean, when you bounce it about like that, it does look like, you know, like it's real hair. It's got a bit of a, meant to have like black roots. I will put the picture up here somewhere um, so you guys can see what this initially was meant to look like. Um, <clears throat> on the inside, it pretty much looks, hair everywhere, pretty much looks like this. That's a bit netted. So that is like, even if, you know what, I don't understand why they do that. Why did they put the, the thick bit on the bit you don't see? Like, that would have been fine. 
the roots would have been fine if it was just like that the whole way through the wig. Because now, because they've stopped it there, like that's stopped. Now you can literally put your fingers through. So it's not good. If you're outside wearing this and you're in the wind and you don't want people to know you're wearing a wig, let me tell you, girl, people will know you is wearing a wig. But other than that, it's got like a natural flow to it. It's more like bounty, but even in the light right now, you guys can probably see that it does not look like real hair. It has a real hair bounce, but it doesn't look like real hair. But let's get this thing on. Um, This is my little uh, <laughs> head cap. So I'm going to put this on, and I'll see you guys in a second. So, <laughs> I cannot believe my eyes. As if I'm actually wearing, oh, Jesus. I look ridiculous. I don't know. <laughs> I cannot take myself seriously in this. I don't know if your hair is meant to be out. Uh, your hair. Your ears. I don't know if your ears are meant to be like out of the cap. <laughs> but here it. Okay, that's my little hair. Oh, by the way, this wig isn't lace front, so it's pretty much as you get it. This is the way you get it. And it's very, very poor. I mean, look at that, guys. The, the thread is literally coming off, off of the wig. It's literally falling apart. Can you guys see that this is the... This is the thread that's meant to be the, the like holding the hair. I mean, it's ridiculous, right, guys? You've got to admit that this is absolutely poor. Right. It's, it says 14 on the tag. So maybe it's a size 14. I don't know. Uh, but yes, guys, that's how it's all structured together. Okay, let's whack this babble oil on. How do you even put wigs on? Oh, we're getting somewhere. I've put it on my head. Okay, let me just hold this bit because ugh, hair is literally everywhere. I've got a big head, so I've got to. Uh, shall I like zip the thing? Let's see what, I, what it's like if I zip the thing. I can't even get it, guys. I'll see you okay, shortly. Guys. I ended up ripping like half of the hair off because I'm trying to clip that thing together. I'm sorry, but there's like literally hair floating about everywhere. So this is, do you know what I remind myself of? <laughs> White chicks. Oh, I'm in America. <laughs> okay. So, sorry, <laughs> sorry with the face. So this is what I would look like as a blonde. Hmm. I don't know you guys. I really don't know. Hmm. I mean, I quite my ears st stuck inside. I kind of like it and kind of don't because I'm just like. Kylie Jenner on these bitches. You know, that type of thing. And it's like you can brush it back. It's just this wig is so poor. I mean, if you was really to do like a natural thing with it, like put it bit like your hair behind your ear if you wanted, you can't do that because it's like it's got wigs sticking out of here. If you can see, it's like literally that's the wig. And it's got like hairs. So the hair is literally like that. There is a piece of hair, guys. That is stuck. That is one piece of hair. And it's literally like stuck on there. You see how poor that is? Let me go get a hairbrush and brush this out. I'm back. So let's see if a, if a brush... I know you're meant to have like wig brushes for wigs, but I mean, I ain't got time for that. So let's see. 
Okay, so it does brush pretty well. You probably can't brush. Once you've brushed it, you're going to have to, like, hold it until it's been brushed, and you can brush it fine. Um, <coughs> so let's just brush all the knots out of it. I mean, it does look a lot better once it's been brushed. I mean, that looks more, more natural compared to this side. You know, if you type a look at that other side, it is a little bit, you know. Okay, let's just brush this side out. This side, for some reason, is like real bad. Ooh. I'm so glad this is not my real hair. That would hurt. Now I'm gonna have blonde hair all over my bed. Okay, so now we are giving you RuPaul. Mm -hmm. Bitch, I'm from America. I mean, I'm kind of digging blonde hair, it kind of suits me, in my opinion. I think it looks kind of like, hi boo, hi boo, I just got my nails done. I don't know what that voice is, but I'm kind of digging this blonde style. It's kind of, I don't know if it's just a wig because it's got like a nice wave to it. But I'm definitely digging it. And we're going to test how it deals with heat. Oh, by the way, guys, I forgot to completely say that this wig is off eBay. Um, it cost me like £10. I don't know what that is in American money, but it won't be much more than that. Um... I'm kind of not wanting to like, straighten it because it's like the curls in it are like are a bit like sister you got curls but let's turn my straighteners on and let's just straighten this um I mean do I straighten it like I would my own hair do I section it this hair in the back is seriously stuck I thought I bloody brushed it my hair straighteners have done warming up I mean I don't know what it looks like in the back guys because it's probably gonna have a lump there as you can see because my real hair is under there but I mean we can deal with it we can deal with that let's just try and brush that out a little bit okay so I'm gonna just um I'm not really gonna do it like I do my own yeah I'm not gonna do it like I do my own hair because for those of, I mean, you know, like, I could have got this wig, like, the wrong end of the wig. I could be one of them people that gets it, gets it, um, when, like, gets the, the bad wigs. I mean, they could make, when there's, like, more of these same wigs, they could be worse ones than the others. Like, some could be really good, so I could just have the bad end of the shop. But, I mean, it's really, like, if you were to buy this and you were to wear this, it's like, this is what it, you are most likely going to get. Okay, this is uh, really taking the plip. Okay, so I'm straightening it and it's going. It's going. What it's doing is it's reacting like plastic would. So it's curling. Like cinching the hair like like i'm just burning the hair it's literally the hair's literally like it's like plastic being burnt basically but this is 
the wig and that's how you're gonna get it guys so i don't know if i should carry on straightening this or not because obviously this is like really ridiculous yeah right oh bitch okay maybe if it actually stayed there oh you ain't bloody messing i mean it re this really has some potential this week like seriously this could be a really nice nice wig this hair everywhere but unfortunately it does not work out like that i mean if i was to straighten all this i would literally be here for ages let's see if we can curl this actually because a lot of people like curling the hair you know what this could have been this could have been I'm here, don't worry, I haven't gone anywhere. This could have been a lot better if I knew how to do curls with a straightener. But I think this is just not going to go right, guys, because it's like, it just seems a lot like... <sighs> nah, that curl in it. I don't even think you do it like that. I think you do it like that, isn't it? But you can literally... F well, I can feel it. Nope, not doing it. Right, so I can literally feel and hear the hair ripping as I'm straightening it. So it's not really uh, the best of ideas to do that. To straighten the hair. It probably won't be the best thing to decide to do because as you guys can probably see, it's, it's like if you do... <laughs> You wouldn't even be able to flip your hair. I mean, look at that. Half bland and half lit. But yes, guys, I'm not going to attempt to straighten it because I would be here for ages. It keeps getting knotty. Like, it keeps, like, knotting up and stuff. So, I would literally be here getting angry with this wig for days. But, yes, guys, this is the wig. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed Looking about me looking like a fool. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Because I have. And I think I quite suit one, actually. In my opinion, I think it looks quite, quite um, nice. It's not, it's not the worst thing. Would I dye my hair this colour? Maybe not this particular blonde. I mean, I don't know if it's just because it looks fake or what. But maybe not this particular blonde. See, I, I tend to do that a lot with my hair. Like, I tend to put it to the side like that. And if I was to wear this outside, imagine what I would bl bloody look like. Cruella de Vil. Literally, this hair is only meant to be patterned like this. And that is very poor. I mean, I've never ever known anybody to have roots halfway done. Like, the roots go all the way back. This just kind of stops there. I mean, who thinks of these things? Who would even think to do a root like that? But I think I might just have this wig as an experiment. Like, I might cut it. Um... I might cut it one day and maybe record it uh, because I am actually, I would, I will like to say that I am actually quite decent at cutting hair. Uh, I cut up my own hair a lot of the times and it's like, it's not to do with me not affording to go to the uh, hairdressers. It's just more like, I just like to do it right then and there. So if I feel like I want to cut my hair, I'm cutting it. I ain't waiting for no appointments at no uh, hairdressers. But yeah, and it is expensive, so that. <laughs> so yeah, I guess it has got something to do with money as well. But I mean, 
Um, I'm, I'm trying to get my hair to grow out. I'm sorry I keep brushing this because it's really annoying. Uh, but yeah, guys, I hope, anyway, that you have enjoyed this video. And I hope whoever is new is going to check my old video out just so you can get to know me. I'm really, this is really annoying. Oh, sister, what you doing? Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to start trying to style this somehow, maybe cut it or something and get some use out of it in some way. Because I like cutting hair, so it'll be like chop chop. Fun for me. Uh, but yeah, guys, I hope you have a look at, look at all, all that hair in there, all that blonde hair. But yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I know you're probably thinking, why have you only done one wig? But I've, I've, as I've already said... It's just a tryout to see what I'd look like. There is another wig coming. Uh, some of my, uh, well, some of the colours on the wig that is coming is that are pretty bombing. So I'm just like, if this works out, this suits me. Not only am I going to wear the wig if it's good quality, but I am also going to be dyeing my hair that colour. So whichever one suits me better, if this, if it's um, the blonde or the one I'll be reviewing when it comes, well, let me know, guys. DM me or something. All my social media will be linked in the description below. Everything like that. For those of you who are new, like, and not new, even old, those of you who have been watching me since I started, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and give me a comment. I always say in every video, I will be doing uh, comments back on everything. So whoever comments to me, who whoever comments on my videos, I will be commenting back 100% to everybody, good or bad, I'll comment back. No matter what. And yeah, guys. Um, also, I want to mention really quickly. I know I said I'm going to be doing videos. That looks awful. I know I said I'm going to be doing videos every single day. But I've changed my mind. I'll be doing them three times a week. And the reason for that is because I feel like when I'm doing them every day, um, my content isn't as good as it can be. So what I will do is I will do videos Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So that way I have Sunday to think about Monday's video. Tuesday to think about Wednesday's video, Thursday to think about Friday's video. Yep, yeah, that makes sense. Good. So then you guys probably will enjoy my content more because it'll be more thought out and more prepared. So yeah, guys, I just thought I'd get that out there. Remember, stay strong, stay positive, and keep going and moving. And yes, guys, I'll probably see you. It'll be Monday now as we've got a new schedule. But yes. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys Monday. Bye.